we're going to take a look at a legal problem called binary tree in order traversal. So for binary tree in order traversal, the order goes something like this. We'll be traversing the left side first, and then the current node, then the right side. Okay, so let's say we have an example like this, where we have the current node, the left side is null, the right side have a subtree. So first, we're going to traverse the left side. So that left side is null. So then we're going to get the current node value, which is 1. So we, that's why we have a 1 here. And then we traverse the right subtree. So same thing for the right subtree. We traverse the left side first, and then the current node, and then the right subtree. So the left subtree only has node 3, so we add node 3 onto the list. And then in this case, we're going to add the current node, which is node 2, and add, add two, uh, value 2 onto the, onto the list. And then we traverse the right side. So right side is null then our job is done, right? So we traverse the entire tree using in-order traversal. So let's say we have another example like this, same thing here. We are traversing the left side first, then the current node, and then the right side. So in this case, we have two, one. And if the left side is null, then we're gonna traverse the current node and then the right side, or the right subtree. And for the right subtree, we follow the same procedure. So the left side first, then the current node, and the right side. So, to do, the, to do this using recursive approach, right? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this using a recursive approach as well as the iterative approach. So to do this using a recursive approach, basically the idea is that we're going to have a, um, a result list, which basically keep track of all the nodes that we have, right? We add all the nodes that we traversed and onto the result list that we're gonna return at the end. And we're gonna have this DFS method, which takes the root node and then what we're going to do is we're going to traverse the left side first, right? So we traverse the left side. And then we take, and we basically, once we're done traversing the left subtree, then we're going to take the current node value, add it onto the result. And then we're going to traverse the right subtree. And our base case is that if the current root node is null, we can just return. Because in, the, in this case, the current root node is null, then we, can, we don't have to continue to do the depth of search anymore. This path is null, right? So if we were to run this code or submit, you can see we have our success. So to solve this using an iterative approach, basically we're gonna use a stack data structure. So because, because what we can do is we can use a stack data structure to keep track of the last element that we inserted onto the stack. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this data structure like this, as well as we're gonna use a root, a variable that keep track of the current root, the current root node. And then we can be able to traverse its subtree first once we're traversing its subtree, we're going to be able to use, um, take the top element that we get, that we inserted off the stack, and then we're going to get its parent node of that subtree that we just traversed, which is going to be the top element that we have on our stack. And then we're traversing its subtree. Once we're done traversing its subtree, we're going to take the top, another top element off the stack, and then we're going to traverse its subtree. So what we're going to do is initially is we're going to have no four, right? That's the root. And we're also going to have a result list that we're going to return at the end. And basically, this is going to be the root. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually going to start here. So in this case, we're just adding all the elements, all the left side, all the left subtree, in this case, um, or left subtree root node uh, added onto the stack. So we add no 4. So no 4 is the root. So in this case, we have a left child for no 4. So in this case, root is equal to root.left. So we have 2 here. Uh, so we add four onto the stack, and then we add two onto the stack as well. Then what we're gonna do is we have root is equal to root.left. So in this case, we have one. So we add one onto the stack. So root is equal to root.left, which in this case is null. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top element that we have on our stack, which is gonna be one. So we take that off. So now we have a, um, So now we have the root is going to be node 1. And then what we're going to do is we know the left side is null. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add the current element. And then we're going to traverse the right side, right subtree. So then what we're going to do is we have a result. We add 1 onto it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the root is equal to null because the right subtree is null, right? For right subtree for this node right here is null. So in this case, if it's null, then we're going to take the top element that we have on our stack off of it and assign it onto the root. So now we have no two, right? So in this case, we have no two right here. So we have no two. And then we are going to add the current node because we're already traversing, we're already done traversing the left subtree. 
So we are going to get the current node, which is going to be node two. So we add node two onto or node two's value onto the result list. And then what we're going to do is we're going to traverse the right side. So we're going to get the uh, we're going to assign the root is equal to node three, right? So in this case, we're going to first add node three onto the stack, and then we're going to say root is equal to root dot left. So in this case, root dot left is null. So we're going to take the top element that we have on our stack off of it and then assign it onto the root. So that's going to be no, uh, no three, right? So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to add no three onto the result list. And then the, we're going to get root is equal to root dot right. So in this case, it's going to be null. And root dot right is null. So we're going to take the top element. Sorry, we already take this element off already. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the top element up that we have on our stack off of it. So now we have four, right? So four is going to be our root. So basically, we already traversed this one and this one already, or basically, I should say the entire left subtree is traversed. Now we're going to get the current node, right? The root node, in this case, node four. We add node four onto this uh, the result list, right? Onto the result list. And in this case, root is equal to root dot right. So in this case, it's going to be no five. We add no five onto the stack. So what we're going to do then is we're basically just going to um, keep traversing the left. So in this case, the left is null. So root is equal to root of left. Root of left is null. We take the top element off the stack. So that means we have five, right? So in this case, we take this off. We assign it to root because we're done traversing the left side. The left side is null. And then the root, in this case, is no five. So no five, uh, we're going to add it onto the result list. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get the root is equal to root dot right, right? So in, and then in this case, it's going to be no six. And then we're going to add no six onto the stack because in this case, the root is not null. Then we're going to continue to see if it has a left child. In this case, root is equal to root dot left. So it's null. And in this case, we have null, we're going to take the top element off the stack. So we have no six. And no six, we're going to add it on to the result list. And then we're traversing the right side. So right side, in this case, root is equal to root dot right. So it's null. And then basically, we already pulling this element off because the left side is null already. So we're done that. And then what we're going to do is because this is null, then we're going to take the top element off the stack, but the stack is already empty. Then our job is done. So we have our result list, right? So pretty much this is how we solve this problem using a iterative approach using a stack data structure. What we're going to do is we're going to have a list of integer, which is equal to result, new link list, okay? And uh, the idea is pretty simple. We're basically just going to have a stack data structure that stores the tree node and we're going to have a tree node called current root which basically points to the current root that we're going to first traverse right so in this case current root is root and what we're going to do is we're going to say while this is true we're going to basically adding first we're going to add the left subtree right we're going to add the first the very left node onto the stack and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh once we're traversing the left side first then we're going to traverse the current node and then the right subtree right so in this case we're going to say while right so while the current root does not so current root does not equal null we're going to get the current root Add it onto the stack. So current so stack dot add current root. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get current root is equal to current root dot left. Right? So we continue to add a left node. And then once we add a very left node and at the end we get the current root is null, then we're gonna get current root is equal to the top element that we have on our stack dot pop. So once we've done that. Uh, we're basically going to uh, add the current node onto the result list, and then we're going to traverse the right side by getting the current root is equal to current root dot right, right? So we repeat the process. But because we set the while loop to true, we need to have a base case. In this case, the base case is that if we have the stack that is empty, 
is equal to true, right? We adding no elements onto the stack, uh, true, then we can just break the loop because at the end, we want to return the result, okay? So once we take the top element off the stack, we're gonna add the current element onto the result. So result.add current root dot value. And then we're gonna get the current root is equal to current root dot write. So we're traversing the write subtree. And then we're gonna to continue to do that until we get all the elements that we have in our binary tree onto the result list. So if we were to run the code and let's try to submit, and you can see we have our success. So this is basically how we solve the, this legal problem using recursive and iterative approach.